This is an integrating balance, so it's balancing a little bit of rules and how to put balance into what you already have. We started off talking about techniques, so you want to make sure that you use your eyes. These are your eyes. Um, to balance and not your neck, yeah? So you don't want to have your head tipped back. You can tip your head back and then pull your chin in, yeah, if you're balancing on your head or anything. Uh, but make sure that you're just looking at the top of the object with your eyes. It sounds really obvious, but you do just get lazy and you get in this habit of like bending here and kind of doing this, and then that gets sore. So we talk about flat surface. We started off on the back of our hand because that is stops you grabbing and it helps your brain learn faster to adjust rather than catch. So we're on the back of our hand. My hand, my hand that's going to steady it is up at the top because it makes me use my eyes and look up at the top. I get it nice and steady. And then wherever the hoop goes, I go with it. So if it comes this way, I pull my hand underneath. If it goes this way, I pull my hand underneath. It rolls forward, I scoop. It rolls back, I pull back. And I'm trying to keep my hand under the center of gravity and watching the top. And to start with, you know, your focus needs to be on the top all the time. But once you get used to it, you can start to use your peripheral vision. So you can start to look out. And that's really good when you start to balance too, because you obviously can't watch two tops at the same time. Yeah, so we did back of hand. We played with just keeping it here, being able to use this. A little bit of a bounce. A little bit of, okay, can I get some air? Can I get some air time? And I'm cushioning. So I'm absorbing the momentum when it comes back down. And then we combine that with a roll. So we remember where the top is. We're responsible for our own elbows. We're going to point our fingers just past the top of the hoop. I'm going to let it roll. So it comes to here. So we do rolling and just catching with the opposite hand here. And then we did straightening this arm and having it roll into this hand. And then we did turning into it here. So I step my foot. And we did turn in against it as well, here, catch it behind, yeah? Then we did front of hand, so same thing. Your little finger gets really out of control for some reason with this, so you wanna make sure that you've jammed all your fingers and your thumb together. You're not cuffing, because even if it is balanced, then it looks like it's not. So we're here, nice flat hands. Again, we can play moving around, we can play throw and catch. And then we talked about moving the hoop, so swapping hands. So I can either keep my hoop here, pull back and switch hands or I can let it tip forwards and walk with it. What I don't want to do is tip my hand all the way down because then my hoop gets really fast. And you can do the same thing on the back of your hand coming backwards or forwards. Either, which is fine. And you can also do your roll out from here. So you just come up, turn your hands, let it roll. Then we talked about getting into it. So I'm going to drop my hoop down, use this momentum as it comes back up. It's going to go between my index finger and my middle finger. And I close my fingers underneath. So I have a solid bit of momentum. What I want to do again is drop down a little bit to absorb the momentum because otherwise it tends to roll up. I mean, you can use all that. You can use all those rolls, it's fine. Um, so back of hand, we're coming here, closing our hand. Yeah? Front of hand is slightly more different if you're going on the outside. What you want to do is use your index finger and you're going to pull as the hip comes up. You're pulling with your index finger and you're sliding the rest of your fingers underneath and you're aiming for the middle of your palm. So I'm here, pull, balance. What's the top? Drop, pull, balance. I'm facing it. If it was, if I was trying to be uh, in wall plane, I'd drop behind, pull, balance. Yeah. We can do exactly that thing from spinning. So I'm spinning in the way, and I'm gonna, as the hoop comes up, 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 index finger, other fingers underneath. And that hand balance is what is gonna give you a really nice starting point for your rolls. So a roll is a hand-to-hand -hand balance across your chest, basically. So I wanna start from a hand balance, yeah? So I go here, I'm going through the hand balance position. As my hip comes up, I straighten my arm, pull, through the hand balance position to the other hand. I can do the same thing, I drop down, I pull, it comes here. We didn't talk about it, but it's exactly the same for your back rolls. That was just appalling, please pretend. Delete that bit of the video. <laughs> editing, <laughs> editing, editing, editing. Yeah, so we can do the same thing, drop down, pull up. Yeah, same roll. Don't need to bend back, don't need to bend forward, it's fine. So we did that, we did chest rolls, and we talked about going hand to hand just through balancing, so balancing here, Coming into your balance here, balance, yeah? And also if you get it to your other hand, you can pull back. 
So we did here, I want to make my hip spin. I'm going to use my middle finger and I'm going to pull and let my hip come back across. And I can use that to do continuous rolls. Can you roll from one hand to the other, balance, switch it, and then do a back roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. On the inside, looks really, it feels really simple. It really feels like you're doing nothing, but it can look really nice to just play with. So it's a really nice illusion. I'm on my index finger. I can be on my middle finger. I can walk my fingers. I can go up through my knuckles. So I can really play with this idea of moving your hoop around. Yeah, and it's something that's really simple, but I really like playing with it. It's another good one for when the people come to talk to you. I'm listening. I'm not listening because I'm playing with my hoop. Then why are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I like people. I do like people. <laughs> right here. Right here. Um, and the same thing on the outside of your hoop. So I'm holding my hoop as high as I can. I can go index finger. It's not wrong. You really can't see the difference, and it's a really nice transition point. So I use my middle finger a little bit for stability, or I can just go on to my middle finger. Either it doesn't matter. But I'm going to short arm, and again, your control here is slightly different because you're trying to control this way as well as this way. Yeah, so it's slightly different. Same thing, short arm versus long arm. Here I can transition. Yeah, and it's a really nice transition point. As I said, you're already doing it for this roll. You come here, you come up. That's your transition point for your roll. So we go here. Up, hold, That's your body color through those transition points. Is that it? I think that was it. Yeah. Yay.